Youth Indian Police Academy. A small hand-picked group of Native American high school students from across the country gather on the campus of Riverside Indian School in Anadarko, Oklahoma. They will soon undergo a two-week program under the law enforcement personnel of the Bureau of Indian Affairs Office of Justice Services and with partnership with the Bureau of Indian Education. Here, cadets will be educated through hands-on education in an expansive selection of law enforcement careers spanning from local, state, and federal levels. Nasa J. Marshak from San Rock Sea Tribe in Fort Yates, North Dakota. Second year has changed tremendously the new Milo Simulator we got to engage in. The Milo Simulator is a real-life scenario situation where it's printed on a screen with projectors and you get a laser gun and you get to practice with real-life scenarios that a regular everyday patrol officer would encounter would be to try to stay in shape and try to work on your manners. That's a huge part here. These officers earn the title to be called an officer. I see myself working at BIA Standard Rock Agency or working here at Anadarko Agency, maybe the rest of my life. The Youth Indian Police Academy not only provides opportunities for our Indian youth in Indian country, but also assists the Bureau of Indian Affairs with the Director's Recruitment and Retention Initiative. At this time, there are multiple vacant federal law enforcement officer positions in the BIA, and filling these vacant positions is critical to better serve our Indian communities. My name is Jalen Wetzlein and I'm from Anadarko, Oklahoma. This is my second year coming here and it impacted me a lot to the point where I know exactly what I want to do for my future plans now. And even if I am not sure about it, I can still switch up what I want to do in the future. It really opens a lot of doors for your life and can have a positive effect on your life. I would tell them to take every opportunity they can, not to be shy and like to get out of your comfort zone. I'm pretty sure in 10 years you want to say like you actually did it because you never know like this might be your only chance to be able to do something for your life. My name is Tio Padilla and I'm from the Pueblo of San Felipe in New Mexico. I think the thing that made me want to come here was just to you know, help out my community because it's a small one and it struggles with that. Whatever I learned from here, I would like to take back to my tribe and just share it with them. Hopefully bring more kids back next year. Just be on your best behavior because getting smoked by the um, squad leaders is bad. It makes you do push-ups, squats, planks, and... Um, so have a fun time, make the most of it, make friends because they're going through the same thing as you over here. So they know what you're going with. What I want to do is I want to take what I learned and use it to help me in the military. And then after I um, go from that, I want to come into law enforcement and, or BIA and help, help out my tribe because, you know, we're the future. So I want to do my best for my community and uh, show what I learned. My name is Jane Heminoki. I am from Apache, Oklahoma. So my uh, perception shift on law enforcement has differed quite a bit. We're just normal people, just like everyone else, fulfilling a role with virtues behind the honest accountability, integrity. We're just, just like everyone else fulfilling a role. And so I feel like there's a lot of stereotypes behind law enforcement or stigma that follows it and so just being able to be here at this camp it it redefines in my mind what law enforcement is future advice i have for why ipa members i would definitely say just strive to come back year after year to be a role model for other students and let them know that there is a life outside of your reservation or there is a life outside of your reality where you're from because I, I can promise you that um, coming back from Apache my world was it was small for me my my world revolved around slow and I kind of lost motivation for what I might do for the future and so I feel like coming to this camp I feel like it had opened my eyes quite a bit and so I kind of have ideas in my mind what I want to do in the future and I want to go to the military now I have goals in mind to go to the Marines and that stuff is kind of sparking an interest in my mind. I feel like there's just, there's something out there for everyone. There's something that could interest you and there's just always something out there that you can, 
you can gravi gravitate towards uh, with so many things that this program has to offer that they bring over here the, from the FBI to to the forensic scientist or the, the drug dogs. That's something that interests me is when they have brought the drug dogs um, and training them. Rhonda Madera, Washington State. I would recommend students and younger kids to do it because it's really impactful. It's built good discipline for you and you get to meet pretty good friends. I used to think that law enforcement was a like a big of a deal for like they didn't do much to help people out but ever since I've been here they've opened my eyes and showed me that they do a lot for civilians and they're all don't discourage yourself when you get here if you feel like you're not going to fit in you will you just got to give it time um and that the officers aren't really mean they care about all the months I've always been wanted to do law enforcement ever since I was a kid. Some parts I was wanting to be in the military. And then until I saw this, it was wanting to be SBIA and it thought of Black Horse. You know, I'm going to go attend this program. And you get here, or you're going to meet a lot of different people from out of state. You're going to meet new friends, making friends. Indigenous cultural practices and cultural preservation is vital to the existence of our Native American people. Every evening, the cadets join YIPA staff in creating hand drums, where they will work with wet rawhide, cut, stretch, and lace each of their hand drums. When they are finished, the cadets will use paint to decorate them in an expressive form of decoration and design. Knowledge of something so significant in Native American culture will ensure that each cadet will finish the program with the tools and interest in preserving their culture. My name is Michael Ware. I'm the Chief of Police for the Bureau of Indian Affairs, Office of Justice Services. Um, I work out of here in Anadarko Agency here in the Western District of Oklahoma. This is what I say all the time that, you know, I've seen over the years with my years of law enforcement and then just living and working in Indian country. I've seen how youth programs like this benefit our Indian youth, and especially like the law enforcement programs, the youth law enforcement programs. There's no question about it that there's a need for it. I don't think we could have too many. The more interaction that us as law enforcement have with our youth, I believe that it's, a, it's for the best. And so with that in mind, the one thing that I wanted to try to do is try to implement something in the Bureau of Indian Affairs, something that we could 
make an annual event, something that our own BIA OJS officers could really get out and work with Indian youth from across the country. And so that's, you know, that's really one of the, the big things that, that we wanted to try to do in OJS. Also, we deal with law enforcement, you know, all across the country, regardless of Indian country or not, we deal with the huge shortage of applicants that are wanting to pursue a career in law enforcement. And so we really want to try to push our native youth and any youth who uh, towards a career of service to Indian country. We don't really concern ourselves with whether or not they want to come into OJS or or any other type of, of program. The most important thing is that we, you know, we inspire them, motivate them and mentor them toward the uh, career of service to Indian country, regardless of where it's at or, or what it's doing. You know, that's really one of the primary things we wanted to do, provide an opportunity for our Indian communities and our Indian youth to work with us and uh, show them what we do uh, in the Office of Justice Services. Yeah, first and foremost, it's on us as law enforcement professionals, you know, na nationally and Indian country to really uh, be the first individuals to to interact more with our communities and our Indian people. This is one of the other reasons why we wanted to do something like this, you know, a mechanism for us to work with our Indian youth. Hopefully, this academy and other academies like this will help bridge that gap. That's ultimately you know, something we're looking forward to doing as well. I would, well, the advice would be, like I said, we're evolving. Uh, this is our second year. Uh, last year was our first year. Our program is evolving. This year, we were able to actually create a web page that was uh, that's attached to our actual BIA OJS website. So anyone that's interested in attending this program can look on that that website and read about the Youth End and Police Academy. I would really encourage uh, interested students to to really look at it. This is not an easy program. That's one thing I want to make clear as well. There there is a, a structure. We have policies and procedures that are that our cadets have to adhere to. I believe they like that structure about it. Every year, you know, since last year and this year, it just seems like this program is just growing. And like I said, we're just continuing to evolve. And we're implementing, you know, our own traditions into this program. And so, you know, hopefully we're just going to keep on moving forward. I, I believe that we're going to be having some videos coming out. So hopefully that'll provide some feedback to interested people that might want to come to this program. Uh, one of the things that we really like to preach is your mental fitness, right? Your mental health. And it's really easy for, for you to look on the outside and see if someone's physically fit, right? Are they in shape? Do they work out? Are they muscle up or whatever? But, you know, someone's mental health is not so easy to see. So I implore you young people um, to, to push forward. You're in a bad spot. Ask for help. We love you. I love you. You might not think so. Your squad leaders love you. So I want all of you to know that you are loved, okay? You are important, and you are valued. Always reach out, always ask for help. When we put on a BIA, BIE, Youth Indian Police Academy class, we explain to all our cadets that we are creating a family and that each and every one of them are a part of this family now. Each and every cadet works hard to earn the Youth Indian Police Academy coin at graduation. Our coin they earn is inscribed with the words inspire, motivate, and mentor. We hope each cadet leaves the academy inspired to make a positive difference in Indian country, motivated to put in the difficult work of making our Indian communities better and safer 
and willing to mentor our next generation of leaders and warriors.